What's up, you uh, oh, beautiful hi. internet people? Oh, thanks for stepping into Bob and Heath's random time where we talk to you about stuff. I'm Bob. I'm Heath, and oh, this yeah. is Refuge. Yeah. Nailed it. All right, so today we got a lot of people write in and they say, Bob, there's a lot of counterfeit tourniquets on the market. How do you spot one? Well, that's what we're here to talk to you about today. So if you're out there slinging them kits, tourniquets, um, and you wanna know what is real and what is fake, mm. here are a couple of things to look for. So right here we have a genuine North American Rescue Cat Generation 7 tourniquet in black, right? Which is their tactical color. And see it right here, all undone. We'll even undo the time tab for you so you can see what it looks like. So there is a Gen 7 cat. This right here looks to be a tourniquet, or a counterfeit, but we'll talk about that in a second. This is a counterfeit Gen 7 cat. Um, this is not a real tourniquet, in my opinion. This hasn't been battle tested, uh, and we're gonna talk about the components and what makes us different. Yep. But first things first, we'll just open it up, we'll lay it out right next to the cat, so that way you guys can get a gander. So first things first, you can look at the length. The cat is exponentially longer, which can allow you to use this on a bigger limb, right? You need a bigger circumference for that. So the cat is longer. You can also see here um, that they just kind of stamp through with heat glue right here into the fake, whereas that's not how they do it on the cat. They heat glue and then they lay it down. Um, so this here can fall apart pretty dang easy, whereas that's not gonna happen with a cat. Um, your time tab, it's the same exact thing. I'll show you how easy it is to get this off. Um, like you just rip it off. I can't do that with a cat. So like just showing you a little difference there. Um, it's that same poking through with a heat gun, um, getting a little glue on there. So you'll notice on the back plate here that this is blank. So if China doesn't write their name on it, they probably are not proud of it because they'll put their name on anything. Yep. So if they're not putting their name on something, beware, my friends. This is a genuine Gen 7 cat tourniquet. And so you can tell right there, it says cat, it has its NSN number, it has all the proper documentation, the serial number in it, all that stuff, right? But not only that, if you look right here on the band, next to the end tab, you have the NSN number, expiration date, genu uh, genuine cat tourniquet, all of that. And so these are two fake tourniquets. They were bought from different people on different places in the market. They were the same price and they're completely different products. So this one is even shorter. It's gonna be really hard to get around the leg. This one, a little bit longer, still not as long as our trusty Cat Gen 7 there, right? Yep. With a soft T being the longest tourniquet actual tourniquet. These guys are not actual tourniquets. So a couple of things I want to point out about the windlass before we get to this guy right here. So if you look at the windlass here, you can see the notches, you can see the plastic. This is a reinforced windlass. So you can tell the circumference right here, the size is completely different. So when you're wrenching down, you want to be using that bigger windlass, right? Well, we can also do the same exact thing with the C-clamp. When we look at the two C-clamps, this one is a thicker plastic. It's also a better, more sturdy plastic. If I press this down with my thumb, I can get it to kind of compress. I can't really get this one to compress as much with my thumb. And this is my dominant thumb too. So that's gonna be a factor as well as your plate. You can look at how chintzy this plate is. It just folds right over. Whereas the cat has a little bit more rigidity and it's a better piece of plastic, right? It's molded together. Then we have over here, our trusty friend. Well, let's go into the buckle really quick because the buckle is important. You'll see right here in the cat buckle that it has cat stamped right there, as well as four little teeth upon the bottom line. Well, that allows you to grab on to the tourniquet properly. If we look in here, we don't have four little teeth. We have a bunch of like little ridges. Well, that's not gonna have the same exact bite as those four large teeth would with an actual genuine cat tourniquet, right? And all of this matters because if you're using this, it's one of the worst days of your life. Yep. You're bleeding to death or somebody else is bleeding to death. And we need to make sure that this works properly over the course of time that it needs to work to in order that, like to ensure that we can get that person to a higher level of care and they can get their life saved, right? Right. And then we look at our finest, final tourniquet on the table here. And this is where it gets a little bit interesting. 
you can see that this one right here is actually a cat tourniquet. And so what this is, this is a Gen 1 or a Gen 2 cat tourniquet. So it was a little bit shorter. The windlass was made a little bit differently, but it's still that great materials. Now I recommend if you have a Gen 1 cat, Gen 2 cat, that you recycle that thing. Uh, send it to me, I'll send you a new one, no problem. Uh, we like to have them for just historical purposes. But we know that the Generation 7 cat is the best on the market because we've gone through seven different iterations of how do we make this right. thing better. Gen 7 is still a couple of inches longer. We have the more robust windlass. We have a more robust C-clamp. I love the fact that they took the time tab and they turned it gray. Now, the reason that is so cool to me is because a ton of counterfeits on the market all have white tabs yep. because the original ones had white tabs. And so right. this one has a white tab, this one has a white tab. Whereas a Gen 7 Cat in the black will standardly have a gray time tab. Now, when you have an orange, that's when you step back into your white time tab. This is a genuine North American Rescue Cat Gen 7 tourniquet in orange, and this has a white time tab, like so, right? So now why does this matter? Bob, why can't I buy four tourniquets for 20 bucks on Amazon and just be totally fine? Well, Heath is here to show you exactly why you can't do that. So Heath has one of our super duper nice and trustworthy tourniquets. Oh yeah. And he's just gonna use it. He's just gonna use it. You wanna take off your sweater? Just You're technically not supposed to wear a sweater. It would totally work over a fat sweater. So it would work over the hoodie. Watch your um, mic. Watch your mic. Ooh. Take that off. I'll go ahead and I'll show Sorry. you guys down here on the leg. All right. Trusty old hat put back on. So I've not yet got restriction, okay? And you guys can see as I spin. How many turns is that? That's four. And you also definitely put that on pretty tight beforehand. Five. And I'll just apply over the arm here. I'm just now getting restriction here and the windlass is starting to bend. So you can see the windlass starting to contort here, right there in the center, having that uneven, it's hooked on my pocket. There's so much slop here. I know. I know. That's terrible. So what I've seen a lot of times happen, and I don't know if it'll happen on these two, is that the Kevlar, the Kevlar band inside of these tourniquets, supposed tourniquets, will actually rip right here. Um, they'll rip out from the windlass itself. And so in the pulling process, like so, this band right here just shreds. Now this one's a little bit thicker. It seems like they've got two here, which is nice. It used to be that they just did the one. Um, and that one would just shred once you were putting it on. So he's struggling to get it. See what it's doing there? It should not be How making that S curve. So that's, you have this that's whole, seven turns. This whole windlass is you have an S curve right here. He's on his seventh turn. Hold on. Still having a slight pulse. <laughs> like he need he needs that. <laughs> and the windlass is just failing. So why does this matter? Because you don't need to fight a crappy windlass when look you're trying this. to put a tourniquet on. Look at that, look at, look at the bend. Look at the bend, you can't even get it. Can't get, so is that what you wanna trust your life to, right? Absolutely. When not. you have a cat, Gen 7, right here. I know I'm not policing my pockets oh super my gosh. well, but. That was exhausting just with all that. those turns. So I can work this Gen 7, whew, one turn. And two. <laughs> it's just warped. Look yeah. at that. No bending in the windlass. Easy security, right? It's good to go, and it's it's all the way working. Uh, no need to be concerned about that. Uh, Please. So it's pretty obvious. I mean, you should not be able to do that with a windlass. I don't want you to break it all the way yet. No. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not even trying. It's just. So if you look at the two, I'm gonna try to bend this next to him as he bends. Jeez Louise, can you get this to bend? You're stronger than me. I know I can get that thing to bend. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's, what more do you want, guys? Oh, uh, uh, it's just a piece of plastic. It doesn't need that much force. Well, when you use a windlass as a windlass, you're using it to create a large amount of force, right? And poking out on it right now. <laughs> still can't get it. It's you not going. That's good, going. bro. Like, That's what we want to see, right? And so with that, when you're when you're shopping on the market, don't cheap out when yeah. it comes to medical gear. 
don't cheap out when it comes to what you might need to save your life. I know that the real tourniquets cost 10 whole dollars more. That's okay. Spend the $10 because you're worth that 10 extra dollars every it really single time. It really is worth it. Make sure that you visit, you know, a reputable retailer like us, Refuge, here, where we sell North American Rescue Cat tourniquets. We'll sell you soft tea, uh, tac med tourniquets, whatever it may be. Tourniquets that are tested by the professionals, that have good data behind them, and aren't fake, That's right. right? Because whatever that is, whatever th this is, whichever one, this, this that trash, one, yeah, yeah, this one here, this guy, that is not what we're looking for here, people. That's why you don't go to Amazon for tourniquets. Yes, without a doubt. So hopefully that this was informative for you guys. I hope you get something out of it. Uh, please go break all of the nearest Chinese tourniquets to you. Please. You don't have to ask anybody, just break them. Um, just break them, throw you them in the trash. You have our permission, you're good. Take a picture of you throwing them in the trash or you know, lighting them on fire. Tag yeah. us in it, we'll share it out. We'll comment and tag North American Rescue because they'll love to see fake tourniquets burn. And if you see any law enforcement officers out there, ask them what tourniquet that they're carrying. Yeah, hold your guys and gals accountable, right? Yes. You wanna make sure that the people who may use a tourniquet on you in a car accident have a real tourniquet, right? So yeah. something as simple, this, you know, you're going into your local PD and saying, hey, do you guys have real tourniquets? And if not, can you, I help fundraise for you to get them? You know, right. something as simple as that. Reach out to us. We're a resource for you guys. I hope that you're taking all this information in and you're utilizing it. Have a great day. And remember, please, carry an effing tourniquet. Shalom. Shalom. Sound check. We're yeah. We're making it work. Yeah. Buy the, buy the real deal. Buy a real tourniquet. <laughs>